Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Dr. Nana here. And this is our NMTV talk show audio version. We designed a program called Nigeria Decides 2023. This is very critical. It is critical because whether you are in Nigeria or you are outside Nigeria, you want a safe country. And we also want a nation that we can call our own. So on our talk show today, we are going to talk about how we can decide 2023, Nigeria decide 2023. And use this phrase, I see your point. I see your point. When we get accustomed to I see your point phrase, then you will know whether it's obedience, the one they call obi, or you are for Bola Tinubu, or you are for Atiku Abubakar, and the other ones. If you have this phrase in mind, I see your point. I understand your point. I understand your opinion. We will become more civil. Nigeria is for all of us. Okay, and we do need leaders that will now start list to listen to people. We have had a whole lot of leaders that do not listen to the citizenry. And that's the reason why we are where we are. We have a whole lot of leaders who just impose everything that they want to do on the citizens and never really bother to care whether the people they are leading are interested in what they are doing. So on today's NMTV talk show, I want Nigerians to decide 2023. This election in 2023 should not be as usual. I mean like when they say the usual. We have to start thinking about critically because this is globalization now, global world. People are able to see what is happening in other society. We cannot be different. And when we say Nigeria is a giant, giant for what? How do we become giant? When according to data, 63% of Nigerians are living below the poverty rate. How can you allow one or two percent of Nigeria to take away all the resources for themselves and their children yet unborn? We have to change that mindset. Youth are the future of the nation, okay, of any nation. This has nothing to do with Nigeria. If 40% of youth, according to the data, or even up to 60%, do not have any source of engagement, something that they are doing that they can take home a living, how do you then build a nation? So Nigeria decides 2023 it's a program designed by NNTV to sensitize Nigerians so we can do our part. If you love Nigeria as a youth and you are in position to vote, please vote your conscience. Okay? Vote your conscience. And for the leaders who are in this race, please use the phrase, I see your point, so that we can become civil again. We are supposed to be a democratic nation. Nigeria is so masculine that even though we are running a system of <laughs> a democratic government system, we are actually behaving as if it's an uh, autocratic system of government that we are running. It's either my way or no way. So please, leaders, use the phrase, I see your point. I see your point. So when someone like Tinubu speaks his mind, say, I see your point. Then you speak your own. When someone like Atiku speaks his mind, say, I see your point. Then you speak your mind. If Obi is the one speaking his mind, say, I see your point. Then you speak your own. So when we do that, we become more civil. We don't necessarily have to agree on their points or, or their viewpoint or understand with them. But that does not eliminate them to be someone that you don't want to speak, see or speak to or even their followers. So on our NMTV talk show today, 
we are sensitizing Nigerians to do the right thing. We need to vote for our conscience. We need a new visionary leader. We need a leader who will be listening to the people, not a leader who will take away things from the citizens for themselves. Nigeria is more than where we are. We are not supposed to be where we are now. If I am going to say it in my last program, I said, give me back my Nigeria of 30 years ago. Because Nigeria of 30 years ago, this arm robber kidnapping and all these things were not happening. All this fake religion, bishop, pastors, and all this many fake things happening all over the place. We're not happening 30 years ago. So I'll say, give me back my Nigeria of 30 years ago. So I hope I'm um, speaking to the leaders of Nigeria that we are better than this. So Nigeria decide 2023, come out and vote your conscience. Let this election be free and fair. Then whoever emerge as the leader, then we have to help that leader to succeed. We need a brand new nation. In Nigeria, we need a new leader who will be ready to listen to the people. So I hope I have spoken my, my, my voice. And uh, I'm inviting all the leaders to come to our show. Come to NMTV and make your own proposition. Make your point to the Nigerian populace so we can move this nation forward. We are citizens who are living in diaspora. We want our voices to be heard. Someday, I think we should be able to vote and speak our own voice. I'm a policy person. A policy is an idea, and when written and adopted, it becomes a law. So we need laws that will change the educational system. We need laws that will help redirect and refocus what we really need in Nigeria. So I hope the leaders will listen this time to the people of Nigeria and not put themselves on top of the people they choose to lead. And before you lead any nation, you must have love for that nation. So if you are a leader who do not love your nation, I don't see the reason why you should be leading that nation, in my view. If you are a leader who have stayed put on electricity for decades, that does not show that you love that country. So, but the, you have to make your argument now to the people and allow the people to make their conscience, to vote and vote their conscience. If that's the type of leader they want, a leader who has taken away electricity for decades, a Nigerian living under from hand to mouth and not knowing what is happening outside the world. If that's the kind of leader you want to vote for, let them vote their conscience. We are inviting you and your um, uh, representative to come to NFTV and make your case. Thank you for listening. And you will see us more often from this period till the end of election. Take care now and bye for now.